Alright, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this design right here on the Alpha Loom. This design here is my vertical pretzel design, and it's meant to be looked at this way, but yeah. And this design is meant to be a bracelet, so I will be showing you how to make this design as a bracelet, and yeah. Also... It is recommended that you do go and get this template for the bracelet, so you can follow along with this tutorial, and the link to where you can download it is in the description. And, yeah, alright, so, to make this, you will need your alpha loom, of course. You will also need your alpha comb, or you can just use a regular hook, but I will be using the alpha comb in this tutorial. And if you do get your alpha comb, you will still need a regular hook. You will also need a template of this design, which is the vertical pretzel design. The link where you can download it is in the description. But if you can't really print anything or get the design or the template, then I have a template here that I'll be showing you in this tutorial, so you can just use what I have here. And if you do have the template with you, you are going to want to have a pencil so you can keep track of what column you're on in the design. So only if you have the template with you. Alright, you'll also need clips. You'll need seven clips. I'm using C-clips because they came with the Alpha Loom. And you will also need rubber bands. And there are three groups, the A, B, and C group. I'll explain what they are. The A group, they are the rubber bands that are going to be the pretzel, so the brown in this example. The B rubber bands are going to be the background rubber bands, so they're all the yellow squares in this example. And then the C group here, they are the connector bands, and they are what connect the seven rows of uh, squares. So the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here on the side. They are the connector rubber bands, or the rubber bands that hold those seven rows together. And you can't really see them in the example. Alright. So, to figure out how many rubber bands you'll need, you'll need to know how many rubber bands you need to go all the way around your wrist for a seven row wide bracelet that's something you have to figure out on your own but yeah but anyway down in the description it will tell you how many rubber bands you'll need to complete one pretzel and yeah so just use the pause button to get your supplies and I'm gonna go ahead and get started So, to begin, you're going to need your alpha loom, and you're going to want to have the rainbow loom words facing towards you. That's the same side that this little hole here is on. And you're also going to want to have seven B color rubber bands. These are going to be your cap bands for the bracelet. They are not going to be a part of the design, so you don't need to be looking at your template just yet. So you just need seven B color rubber bands to start. Alright, I am using regular rubber bands for this tutorial, but I will be like, capping them so they'll look like alpha loom bands, and I'll show you what I mean in a moment. But anyway, so what you're going to do with these seven B color bands is you're going to just take them and stretch them from one pin on your alpha loom going directly across the alpha loom to the other and twisting the rubber band onto that other pin there. I'll show you again. You get whatever rubber bands you're using. You're going to start, you're going to put it on one pin on one side of your alpha loom, then bring it over to the pin directly across from it. And when you do, you're going to twist the rubber band on there. And you'll do this for all seven sets of pins. Oops. Uh, 
All right. So once you have done that, you're going to want to have your alpha comb. And you're going to use this side of the alpha comb on the opposite side of where you have all those hooks. Is this side here. You're going to use that side to push all those bands there down. All right. Now you're going to want to get your template out. And we're going to start actually paying attention to that. Let me adjust my camera real quick. So there's more room. Alright, hopefully that's good. Alright, anyway. You're going to want to make sure you still have those rainbow loom words facing towards you. That is very important. And, yeah, we're also going to need to get seven more B color rubber bands. Okay. So, this here is column one, which is this very first column here, and it's just all these A or B color bands here. And, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I meant by capping the rubber bands. So, if you're using regular rubber bands like me, because there aren't any brown alpha loom bands, as far as I know, and as far as I've seen, what you can do is if you still want to have your bracelet look like it, you used alpha loom bands, what you can do is take the rubber bands you're using, turn them into cap bands by twisting them, folding them like a book back on top of themselves, and now they're almost as small or just as small as an alpha loom band. And then you can just place the rubber bands like this and they will act like alpha loom bands. So, what you just do is just take the rubber band, however you're using it, if you want to cap it or just place it as a regular band, or you're already using alpha loom bands, you can just, you just need to place it going across. And make sure these are B color bands. So you're not going to twist these rubber bands. No more twisting of anything. Alright. So let me just go ahead and explain how we read the template here. This number one up here, on the side, on the left side of the template. Row one is all the way up here at the top. And then row seven, down here at the bottom, is down here closest to you. So make sure you have those rainbow loom where it's facing towards you. Alright. So... For all seven rows, it's just B color bands, so go ahead and place them. Let me move this. Alright, so it's just all B color rubber bands. Use the pause button if you need to. And I'm going to put this off to the side. Alright, so now you're going to want to get your alpha comb or your hook, depending on what you're using. And we're going to loom all these bottom rubber bands, and they are all the cap bands. So, just take your alpha comb, grab all those bottom bands, and bring them all up and over the pins. Then turn your alpha loom around and do the same thing on the other side. Once you've loomed everything, use the other side of your alpha comb to push all the bands down. And then make sure you have your alpha loom turned back around so that the rainbow loom words are facing towards you. Alright, and if you have your template with you, you're going to want to get that, or bring that in front of you. And also get your pencil out. And you're going to want to mark off column 1. So the columns are up here on the top. You're just going to want to lightly mark it off. Like that. Hopefully you can see that, but anyway. Now what that means is we've placed the rubber bands we need for column 1, and now we need to place the rubber bands we need for column 2. Alright, so for all the future uh, columns of bands that you're placing, you're now going to need to get a connector band. So go ahead and get a connector band, and for column 2 you're going to need 
three A color rubber bands and four B color bands. And don't forget the connector band. Alright, so first before you place anything else, you're going to take your connector band and just stretch it going all the way up or yeah, all the way down one side of your alpha loom, so all seven pins on one side. And now you're going to place all the rubber bands you need for the bracelet. So from the top at column one to the bottom, here's the order of the bands. First you have a B color band, and there's another one, and you have your three A color bands next. And remember, if you want those alpha loom band or the alpha band look with regular rubber bands, you just have to turn the regular rubber bands into cap bands. Alright, but anyway, here's what I have on my alpha loom, and here is a closer look at the template. If you don't have one, right, just use the pause button if you'll need to look at that anymore. Now it's time to loom. Alright, so looming this bracelet for the rest of the bracelet, forever how long you need to make this, it's going to always be the same, so I'm only going to explain how you loom twice, and then whenever it's time to loom, I'll just say, okay, go ahead and loom your bracelet. Alright, so anyway, to loom your bracelet, you get your alpha comb, or your hook, whatever you're using, and you're going to first get this connector band and just pull it over the pins, and it should get caught on those bands you placed above it. So just loom your connector band first, and then you just have to loom all the bottom rubber bands. So, grab them all. And one thing I like to do when I'm looming the rubber bands on here is when I get my alpha comb and grab all those bands, sometimes I can't get them all. What I like to do is kind of move them side to side and that helps them get past the pins. Alright, and once you've loomed everything, you can just push everything down with the other side of your alpha comb. And now you can get your template out, if you have it, and your pencil, and we're going to mark off column 2 here. Alright, now we're going to place the rubber bands we need for column 3. Alright, so for column 3, we're going to need, of course, a connector band. You're going to need two A color rubber bands and five B color bands. Alright, so, as always, you're going to first place your connector band going all the way down one side of your alpha loom, all seven pins. Then, you're going to place the rubber bands you need for the actual design. Okay, so from top to the bottom, here's the order of your rubber bands. So, so up here at the top, we have a B color band. Then next we have an A color band. Then we have three B color bands going down. Then your last A color band for this column. 
And then the last B color band you need. All right, so here's a closer look at the template and here's what I have on my alpha loom. Make sure this is what you have. Oh, and I also forgot to say, make sure you have those rainbow loom words facing towards you. But I think this whole design is just the same on either side. But anyway, just make sure you have those rainbow loom words facing towards you. Here's what I have on my alpha loom. Here's the template. Pause if you need to look at it. It's time to loom now. All right, so this is the second time I'm going to be telling you how to loom. And this is also the last time. So next time it's time to loom. I'm just going to say, okay, go ahead and loom, and yeah, it's the same every time. Alright, so for looming the bracelet, you always just grab that connector band first and pull it up and over the pins. Then you loom all the bottom rubber bands on both sides of the alpha loom. And to do that, you just get your alpha comb or whatever you're using and just grab all those bands. Kind of work them side to side, up and over. Then make sure you do the other side. Push those bands down a little bit. Right. And once you've loomed everything on the bottom and that connector band, you can use the other side of your alpha comb to push everything down. And that's how you loom. Alright. Now, if you have your template, make sure you cross off column 3. And now we are here on column 4 here. Right, we're about halfway through the design. So, for column 4, you're going to need a connector band, of course. You're also going to need four A-color rubber bands. And you're going to need three B color bands. All right. Just as usual, you're going to take your connector band first and make sure those rainbow loom words are facing towards you. It's just a good habit to form, but anyway. You're going to take your connector band first, place it going all the way down one side of the alpha loom, all seven pins. Now you got to place all the bands you need for the actual design. So from the top to the bottom, here is the order of your rubber bands. So at the very top we have, oop, we have an A color rubber band. Next we have a B color rubber band. Then we switch back to A. And switch back to B. Then back to A. Then your very last B for this column, and then your very last A for this column. There we go. So here is the template up close, and here is what I have on my alpha loom, rainbow loom words down here. Just use the pause button if you need to look at that anymore. Now it's time to loom. Alright, so I'm not explaining how you loom again. It's the same every time. Just go ahead and do it. And once you have loomed, make sure you push those bands down. And make sure you have those rainbow loom words facing back towards you. Also, if you have your template, don't forget to mark off column 4. Alright, now we are on column 5, and for column 5, you're going to need 
a connector band and you're going to need three A color rubber bands and four B color bands. Column five, right here. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and place everything. So, just like always, you place your connector band first. All seven pins on one side. Then, from the top to the bottom, you need to place your bands for the actual design. And from the top to the bottom, here is the order of the rubber bands. So here at the very top, we have an A color band. Then you place two B color bands next. And in the very center, we have an A color band. Then two B color bands next. And then down at the very bottom, we have an A color band. Alright, here's the template, and here's what's on my alpha loom. Uh, use the pause button if you need to look at that. Now it's time to loom. So go ahead and get your alpha combs and your hooks and loom the bracelet. Same as always. be careful. Almost loomed the wrong rubber bands. Alright, don't forget to push down the rubber bands once you've finished looming and don't forget to turn your alpha loom around so your rainbow loom words are facing towards you. Ugh, okay hot in here. Anyway, if you have your template, don't forget to mark off column 5, and now we are on column 6. So, for column 6, you're going to need your connector band, of course, and it's just the same as column 5. You're going to need 3 A color bands and 4 B color bands exact same thing as column 5, even for placing the rubber bands. But I'm still gonna go ahead and just kinda explain. But anyway. So, just uh, of course, usual. Place your connector band first. Then, place the rubber bands you need for the design. We're here on column 6. Right, so from top to the bottom, here's the order of the bands. So at the very top we have an A color band, then you get two B color bands going down, And in the very center here, we have an A color band. And then two B color bands. And then down here at the very bottom for row seven, we have an A color band. All right. So here is the uh, template, and here is what I have on my alpha loom. Uh, if you need to look at that, use the pause button. It's the exact same as column 5, so you should have the same types of rubber bands above the same type of rubber bands, like A rubber band, and A rubber band underneath, and then here is a B rubber band. There should be a B rubber band underneath. 
Alright, so once you have what you need to place, it's time to loom. Go ahead and do that. Don't forget to get that connector band first. Oop. Definitely want to be careful when you're doing these capped rubber bands. Sometimes you might grab an extra band. You can always go back and get the ones you forgot. Alright. Don't forget to push down all those rubber bands with your alpha comb, this side here, that doesn't have the hooks on it. And don't forget to turn your rainbow loop or your alpha loom around so the rainbow loom words are facing towards you. Then if you have your template, we have finished column six, so mark that off. And now we're on column seven. So we're almost finished. This is gonna be a quick tutorial. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Alright, so, in column 7, goodness, you're going to need a connector band, you're going to need four A color rubber bands, and three B color rubber bands. Column 7. Alright. So, first you're going to get a connector band, place that first, always place the connector band first, right? And then from top to the bottom, here is the order of your rubber bands, so at the very top, we have a B color band. Then we got two A color bands next going down. And here in the very center we have a B color band. Then we have two more A color rubber bands. They're the last ones you need for this bracelet, actually. Or for this pretzel. Because, yeah. And then, lastly, you need a B color band. Down here on row 7. Okie dokie. So, <laughs> here is the template. Once again, we're on row, or column 7. Here's what I have on my alpha loom, rainbow loom words here at the bottom. Pause if you need to. And now it's time to loom again. So just go ahead and loom again. Alpha comb, hook, you know the drill. You can always go back and get those bands you forgot. Alright, don't forget to push down all of your rubber bands. Ooh, here's my pretzel design, super excited. Alright. So, once you have loomed and pushed everything down, make sure the rainbow loom words are facing towards you. And mark off column 7 if you have your template. Alright, now we're on column 8, and column 8 is the exact same as column 1, and column 8 is the last column you need for the first pretzel in your bracelet. So, for column 8, you're going to need one connector band, obviously, and you're going to need seven B color rubber bands. Okay, so, 
it's just like column one and I actually don't really need to show you the template because it's just all B color bands but anyway you just place your connector band and then for all seven sets of pins it's gonna be B color rubber bands so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the temp I'm just gonna leave it back there why not right so I'm just gonna place all these B color bands Okay, here's the template, and here's what I have on my alpha loom. Really don't need to show this, but use the pause button if you need to anyway. And we're going to go ahead and loom. So get your alpha comb, your hook, whatever you have. Go ahead and loom. everything down. Make sure your rainbow loom words are facing towards you. And yeah. So that is the end of making your first pretzel. You don't have to mark off column eight. Actually what you want to do if you're making this bracelet, you're going to want to go ahead and erase those marks that you made. don't have to get them all the way but anyway and then what you're gonna do is go through and make this bracelet or actually go through the template again making a, another pretzel and continue making pretzels until you have made your bracelet long enough to fit around your wrist and you should already know how many bands you need to make this fit and if if the number of rubber bands you need is going to end up giving you half of a pretzel so say you need 53 rubber bands you're gonna end up having not an entire pretzel <laughs> you're gonna end up having like half of a pretzel when you get to the point where you've made your last pretzel and then you just need like two or three more rows to finish your bracelet just go ahead and make them B color rubber bands I should have said that before but just go ahead and make those B color rubber bands instead of making another pretzel because it would look weird to have half a pretzel and yeah but anyway I'm only gonna be making one pretzel for the sake of the length of this tutorial and yeah so I'm gonna actually go ahead and show you how you finish your bracelet off so for this you're gonna need your seven clips I'm just gonna push those over there and you're going to need your regular hook so with this last row here that you'll need, you're going to want to have the rainbow loom words facing towards you, but it actually doesn't matter, but just have them facing towards you anyway. And what you're going to do is you should just have all B color rubber bands here on the pins. And what we're going to do is just grab one side of the first rubber band here at the bottom. I'm going to grab one side of it. It could be the left or the right. doesn't matter. You're going to grab it and pull it off of the pin, keep it on your hook, and then bring it over to the other side, so directly across, and put it on that other pin there, and then you can take it off your hook. You'll do the same thing for this next pin, or set of pins. Grab it, or grab the rubber band from the same side, so if you grabbed from the left, grab the from the left again. If you're over here on the right, make sure you grab from the right again. Right, so so over here on the left, you're gonna go ahead, grab the band here, bring it over to the other side, directly across, and you'll do this for all 
seven sets of pins. Alright, so now you should have all the rubber bands on your alpha loom on one side of the alpha loom. And now you don't need your hook. Now you need your seven clips. And what we're going to do is attach them to all these bands here. So, you're going to take a clip. You're going to attach it to all the rubber bands on one pin. Like that. You'll get another clip and attach it to all the rubber bands on another pin. Get another clip, attach it to all the bands on one or another pin. And you'll do this for all seven pins. And all seven clips. Alright, and once you have them all on, you can go ahead and pull them off by pulling on their clip. So make sure you have all the bands on the clips first. Just go ahead and push them, pull them off. Try to be careful here. Ooh, come on. If you would like to, you can actually use a, a hook, but I'm just going to go ahead and... There you go. I'm going to go ahead and adjust these clips here. Alright, and since you guys' will be long enough to be a bracelet, what you're going to do is take your clips and attach them to their corresponding cap band which are the circular rubber bands here at the beginning. And, yeah, just go ahead and take your clip, attach it to the cap band that's just directly across from it when you put your bracelet like this. And, I'm not going to do that, but I'll show you. So, like here, here's the cap band here on the very outside. You attach it to the clip on the very outside. And then this next clip, or this next cap band would go on to this next clip, and so on. Alright, anyway, now you should have your vertical pretzel bracelet. So, now it's time for the outro. So I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully it showed you how to make the vertical pretzel design successfully. And hopefully now you have the design, and you're wearing it, and enjoying it and all that great stuff and doing the great stuff you do with bracelets and yeah so if you are interested and you really like the pretzel design I have another pretzel design but it's meant to be a more of a picture and you can actually put little cap bands on it and make it look like there's salt on the pretzel and there will be a link to that tutorial once I upload it because it's not uploaded as of today when I record but, yeah, if you're interested in making a little pretzel picture, I will have a link to that tutorial in the description. And, yeah. So, that's pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial, other than thanks for watching, and bye!